Hold up here. There's enough space for all of us. I need a help over here. Okay, where's Sarah and Isabel and Maddie? Oh, come down. Come down. Where's Emma? I saw Emma earlier. And uh, Lizzie. There they are. Man. They clean up nicely. <laughs> have a seat. Have a seat. You're not going to do anything. Have a seat. So we've been doing something for 33 years. Can you count to 33? That's a big number. That's how many years we've been going to Mexico with our youth. 33 years. And this is what we do. When we get there, there's just dirt. And then we take wood and we build a frame. Then we start mixing cement and sand and water. And we do that the entire day. All we do is just mix buckets of cement. And then we pour the cement on the foundation. And we tap it down with wood. And then we have a foundation. Only what happened this time was there was a dispute between the two sisters about where their land ends. And so 4 o'clock in the afternoon when we were about to knock off, they came back and said, you have to extend it by another 8 feet. And so we just kept on working cement, making more cement, and we finished at 5.30. So that's the foundation. The next thing we do is we cut the wood and we build a frame. And each house has seven walls. And then you put two roofs on it. You put plywood on it. And so on Tuesday, you have the skeleton of a house. And on Wednesday, you, tick, you take wire. And then you wrap it with tar paper. Then you put chicken wire around it. And then you make a cement that we call stucco. And you put on the stucco. And then we come back on Thursday. And we put on a second layer of stucco. We put in two windows and a door, and there you have a house. Three and a half days, we built two houses. Yay! <laughs> so we had a couple of first-timers with us. Show us if you're a first-timer. Emma, Lizzie, Elliot, Luke, Izzy, and Julia. We had Katie, who's a senior. Have you had the letter yet from Pitcher? Oh, we're not going to have. <laughs> and so uh, this was her fourth trip. Her sister, her brother, her mother, and her dad have gone. Entire family. Wonderful. <laughs> but these kids were like you just seven and a half years ago when I came. They were all elementary kids like you. And so you're going to say, what can I do? I can't go to Mexico. I'm not old enough. I can't build a house. What difference can I make? Well, uh, three weeks ago, Pastor Dave and myself and Favi and Olivia went down to Westside Food Bank. And we made a huge difference. We took six and a half thousand food items and we put them in a box just like this. And so this is what we're going to do. We're going to give each of you a box to take home. When your parents go to the store, you say, hey, why don't you buy a few cans of food, put it in the box, and when this box is full, you bring it back to church. And on June 9, it's a Saturday morning before the schools close, we're going to go down to Westside Food Bank. We're going to take the food that you bring to church, but also they're going to keep food aside for us. We're going to put it in boxes, and that we will give out. So if you uh, want to help us as adults, wonderful, bring food to church. Just drop it in the back of the narthex. We'll put it in a box like this. And on June 9, take it down to Westside Food Bank. Are you up for this? You want to help me? You going to help me? Yes, they are. Will you pray with me? God, we can do great things. We can build houses. We can fill a box with food. We can give a flower to someone or just give them a hug. Or a cup of water or a loaf of bread. Just like Jesus did. And that's the way to make you happy. So help our kids and our congregation as we gather around Westside Food Bank and make a difference right here in our city. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, at church, we like natural church growth. And natural church growth is when you have a baby. So uh, Paul and Janelle are helping us with a baby. They're going to have one soon. And we just had one. Can we have it on the screen? 
Ryan Jacob David Humphreys was born this Thursday on uh, uh, Monday Thursday, uh, nearly a whopping nine pounds. His grandparents are in our congregation, Martha and Gilbert Munoz, and his mom and dad are in our congregation, um, Laura and David, and so we are so happy for them. We're going to pass the peace of Christ to one another. May the peace of Christ be with you. Let's pass it to one another. Okay. Things are starting to get a little tight, so we'd like to ask if you're able to scooch in towards the center aisle, that'll leave a few seats on the sides for people who are still coming in, would be wonderful. Thank you very much. <laughs> 